Oh, starting to work on my video here. I bought me a uh, wrecking yard a few years back and it was a mess. Since then, I've been cleaning it up. Three years worth of that cleaning. It's been a lot of debris. Um, almost two acres of a property here. I'd like to make a better video on this. This been a little bit on the busy side. So got my fifth wheel parked on in here. Been hunkering down in those zero degree temperatures. It's been really, really a nice little unit to be in. Um, lots of lots of prospects, lots of work. And uh Kind of show what I got and see all the good stuff. A lot of digging back there. Um, a lot of um, just endless work. Pretty much everything in here is out the gate. There's my giddy. <laughs> Eventually, yes, um, I'd like to get it all out of here. Um, I'd like to find owners. People would like to have it, that's for sure. Got a real nice river out front here, oh, beyond that path out there. Uh, used to be the old railroad in that clearing spot. And the interstate's out past that. Bike path goes for quite a long ways. Um, Quite a nice little area to be in. Swing this thing quickly around. So, my yard. And uh, what I'm gonna show on this one, I'm gonna show some of the things I get myself involved in. Just restacked over a thousand tires in here, all rimmed. I got a machine in here. It takes and uh, pulls the rims um, from the tires but just a lot of um tomorrow work got 195 vehicles in here and uh again just a lot of stuff so i'm trying to not go too fast through this But I'm having a lot of fun. It's been raining pretty hard today. Last day, day or two, it's been pretty, pretty hard on the rain. With the rain. The response just full of stuff. Thirty-four vehicles in here that are runnable. The rest is pretty much sitting as is. Just where do I point the camera? A lot of wreckers. Uh, roll back. Tilt bed. A lot of uh, equipment in here. For a towing company that was also part of the junkyard that I bought. Buses, all the vehicles pretty much got stuff inside of them. Uh, a lot of engines, a lot of parts. Business started back in 1960 as a junkyard. It was taken over in the 80s and uh, converted into a wrecking business, wrecking, uh, dual wrecking junkyard. But, um, again, I'm working my way over here to 
show some of this other stuff. Um, I go quick on it. Filming. Four buses back behind that camper there. All full of engines. This is what we're going to just look at today. One vehicle. <laughs> Vehicles. But one vehicle out of 195 of them. And this is the, some of the problem I'm having. Um, if you see the front, the front, um, it's getting ready to be crushed. You know, uh, that's why it has all the stuff in it. Uh, I didn't do this; it was done previously. Uh, it's my acquiring the property, but a lot of stuff in there. And that's how it looked all the way to the back. But I started digging into it, and I'm digging into all of them. And we'll pan around. And back to the back end of this. This is what I'm getting. Just a little bit of metal there. But one heck of a full size garbage can full of nothing. Uh, and all that is plastic. All that is just... Uh, there's no metal in it. That whole garbage can is brimmed to the top, um, full of tarps and anything that uh, has no value was shoved in here. And it filled this whole back end, in which case then the metal was put on top of it. Very little metal, lots of junk. Um, there's still a bit more down in there, I'm sure that's got to come up, but probably about, you know, Maybe 80 pounds worth of stuff in there that shouldn't go in there. All told, maybe I'm estimating out of the, let's say 400 tons I got in here, I'm estimating probably about one ton of trash. And that's not bad, but it shouldn't be at all. And nobody's paying for garbage. So, same thing, I've had other vehicles and I'm going through doing the same thing with. And, um, one truck here, I went through it just a little bit and I ended up getting so much stuff and I just hadn't even had uh, much chance of going through it. And I loaded myself up with a bunch of uh, number one steel, higher, higher price stuff, aluminum and everything else that came out of it I'll clear it out and uh, you know load it with steel uh, here's a vehicle as you can see this van is just the same it's pretty filled up full of stuff yeah get up above here and take a look Everything's got to go. It's uh, going to be mostly separated by me in time, and then I'll just take whatever's left and crush it. A lot of old stuff. My oldest is a 1935 Chevy pickup truck sitting in the back here, way back there in that other corner. All sorts of uh, stuff. This will make a nice, it's got a uh, low mileage Dodge 4 100 uh, plus engine in it, um, 30,000 miles on it. I mean, this thing was, uh, it'll be perfect for a float vehicle. You know, something for somebody's project is a float. Oh gosh, the crazy stuff I'm finding in these vehicles. Um, an untold amount of aluminum. Um, and um, just an untold amount of uh, cast. It's just mind-boggling me. Uh, it was a hard time accepting the purchase of the property. <laughs> so. But it's, it's coming out really well. You could not see a lot of this stuff. It was just impossible to see. Weeds were way over me. And I'm 
six four near about these were all brand new these starters piled them up in there uh, time has taken them but they've been just sitting most likely all brand new um, from one of the previous owners um, and here they sit so i piled them up and i got more in there and then i got plenty more around the yard i got oh, i got a lot more in this <laughs> and most of them were protected there's a building here that's being crushed i don't even want to get into that one yet uh, buses there um we got numerous buses here and they're all full of engines more parts more fun And yeah, a lot of them have their motors still intact to them. Some don't. Flash that one over real quick. But a lot of them do have their engines in them. And this was a private owner since the 80s. So you know, we're looking at uh, a collection of their, pro their, their items, their, their stuff. And then... On top of that, more of the previous past. And it's a junkyard. Unbelievable what I find in these vehicles too. Brand new stuff just sitting there for decades. I got everything to make that into a big old, you know, rock truck. I got oh, six or seven of these Subarus from the 80s, early 80s. Oh, we had a few people in here so far. Sorry about my movement on my camera here, but my filming's a little... Quite a bit of stuff. And a fence that needs constant work on it. A bunch of boilers. Um, brand new tires in there. Generators, compressors, and who knows whatever all that is. Clean this one up, getting all the cast and piling it up in a different direction. Finally, I'll see what's down underneath all of it. So more equipment. This one I've cleaned up. It had uh, a lot of stuff in it. You know, a lot of vehicles at Volkswagen, top of it right there. That looks pretty intact, but just sitting. Got four of them. I'd like to get all four of them out of here for a thousand bucks. That'd be fine with me. And plus, plus, I got a lot of engine parts. They're all from uh, 1973, a month prior to the Super Beetle production date. So they're all soup. They're all um, Super Bugs, but they're Still in the Beetle year. Kind of an interesting collection of them. Somebody liked that particular time, I guess. Uh, had a lot of them that were crushed. There was a load taken out of here. and stuff. Definitely hit the crusher on this one. Number one steel hanging out inside of it. It could be brought up for a little bit more. Commercial project for boil or um, smoker.
Das äh, Alles Stuff. Yep, the engine's still in this little Dodge van. The engines are out. I probably got them in one of the buses. 440. Um, if I don't have one, I got two or three of them. Oh, and that van back over there, it's loaded with uh, windows, side glass windows, just a load of, load of stuff. Street sweeper. Another Dodge vans, 73. Another 35 um, truck. All the goodies are up on the front part of it. See, ramblers, got lots of ramblers. This Dodge pickup, it's got its motor and everything, transmission and everything's hanging out in back. Pretty good shape. Walk one over this way. Lots of parts. I'm gonna flash in here. Lots of little parts. Lots of parts. That. <laughs> I get an idea what that 35 Chevy looks like. And again, sorry for the rudeness of my movement. I'll do better videos once I get this one figured out. Can't uh, begin to stress the fact of what I got inside these vehicles. What's oh, hanging out? All uh, I'm a body. I've done bodied so. What I see is a lot of workable stuff. So that big old electric motor on that, no, it's a pump. Um, and then there's more money in that thing than number two still in the crush. Like this with the aluminum, there's a cast in there. Now I gotta pull. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of work. Just like, um, there was a bunch of AMXs that were pulled out of here. And I got some of that stuff still. A Baja bug, you know, something that somebody can make fun of. Again, I got four Volkswagen, four Volkswagens in here. That's a 68, so that's a Beetle. And, um, Parts everywhere. Rock truck, motor, and everything. It looks like you could fire it right up and go. Um, and it just got sat. A lot of them were up on their tires. A lot of them were running and just parked. It wasn't really a wrecking yard. It was a wrecking yard or junkyard, excuse me. It was a junkyard wrecking business. The junkyard was a part of the wrecking business and it lowered the cost of the insurance grills, um, doors, and I got vins off these doors, collecting them, the back of this truck is brand new tires, big truck tires in there, all brand new, just sitting there, like that, I ain't the only one, and these are, um, mind boggling, years, yeah, up to 22 employees, I think I lost the last, last part of my conversation, but this place had up to 22 employees at one time, so it um, oh, some cool stuff in that van. Cool stuff. Moving around, um, drive lines. Oh, I keep my fence together that way. My fence posts are all from the railroad. 
fence should be durable as long as um, they maintain it, um, probably for a hundred years. Other than the wood's got to constantly be replaced. Now there's my Dodge. I love that pickup truck back there. And everything's uh, around. I just got to put it all in a pile when I get to that. Another one. Another one of the, these. Uh, and sitting around. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna move myself back around. I'll do a video of the buses, the interiors, oh, yeah, another little project. Get around this truck here. A lot of cast. I'm moving too fast, I know. spring so we're getting that tree uh, reviving thing where we're getting the leaves back on some heavy stuff in here there's a dump box uh, cylinder frame power wagon sitting over there van full of all sorts of glorious stuff I can't wait to get in there some pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, I'm pulling out of these things. Little trinkets and so forth. dropping this and going back into doing this stuff. It's getting all the vins down. old no, Marlin. Something that looks like it's ready to be um, set up in the shop and rebuilt it's, uh, and restored. It's everything to it. Need a tire? I got it. Engine, everything's intact. It's continental, just sitting there. Of course, that one's body just phew, been sitting too long. Engine's still in it though. Moving around. Volkswagen. All together. Looks like it probably start right up. Just joking about that. Again, just. All the knobs and everything. This way. On the other side of the property. My luck. It's not working. I have to do it again. It should be fine. My 15,000 pound lift heister. Which is in need of work. Catalytic converters, and then some. Axles, four-wheel drive, you name it. Oh, God, you name it. <laughs> Get 
get around here. Tire machines. I don't even drive. Which is good. And yeah, that's why I bought bike path over here. It's great. And the ski resort is right there, up on that hill. Behind me is the ski resort. <coughs> Old International sitting there, dump truck. Can't say these things are recoverable, but you know, there's a lot of parts on them. Who knows what's in these trunks? I have not gotten into them yet. Too much work. Another Volkswagen. A bus full of glorious treasures. An ambassador. <clears throat> All sorts of knobs and everything. Tank. These little guys uh, have their motors and everything in them, ready to go. They're all set. Pull back of the truck here. Just pulling some casts out of this one. It's heavy duty. Same bus as the, what was up in Alaska. Trying to keep it from moving around too much here. West Coast here. One the fellow died in, and they put it in a museum now. It's his sister sitting here. Yep, that's got some motor still on it. I was a welder. I had the property. A bunch of jug strokers buried in here. Been working them out. Well, inside that building is enough to crush it. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, axles, engines. I'll give you an example. This is. Not as good one. This is just full of engines in there. That's where I originally started. Was back that way. Go back around this way. What's in here is a lot. Oh, back there, I forgot to show the 63 Impala hood and trunk end hood. Uh, pretty good condition. There's more Bel Air and so forth hoods and might be Impala doors. Got feral cats all over the place. This one seems to be okay. Just leave them hanging out, friendly. <laughs> that thing must weigh a ton. Welder, shop welder. Oh, I don't want to miss this one either. Little 
kind of like gravely back in there. And another boiler. That's pretty cool in there. It really look good in a restaurant, you know? Like a pretty good shape too. You know, other than it's just been sitting in the old. I just can't begin to show all I got here. It's just a lot. I'll say that too many more times. I do want to keep that international. And I want to keep some of these wreckers for personal use. About five or so of them, that would be fine with me. Just glance back at that Forest Service truck, it looks like, you know, the government took good care of it. Yeah, that's not going to work. Boilers, lots of boilers, big old 100 pound um, lead uh, bars. And in here, I don't know if you can see this, but just starters and um, generators and alternators. And these were all kept inside. I put them out here I'm trying to work that building clean. So, good luck on that. Right? Again, I'd show the inside of the building, but that's a lot in there. A lot of old stuff, tools and everything. Not an too antique-ish, but there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so well, I think we've done this part. A little trike there. Figure, you know, ask around 200, 250 for it. A lot of cats, a lot of pipe, a lot of, a lot of stuff. And it's just piling up. I just started doing the project. I'm not showing what's inside the buses. Another time. A lot of. What is it? Oops, back up a little bit. These two old trucks are kind of cool. And that Toyota still looks like it can run. beefier and stronger I guess. This type of stuff I got loads of. Loads of stuff like this. Okay so the rest of the truck is here and there. Still pretty cool looking. Little square body here. This thing is pretty pretty cool. Four-wheel drive dually with um, headers and I mean the guy was uh, in the power. Any of these vehicles can probably get running real quick and just run. They run. A lot of them just start right up. They just sit. A couple boats over there. They were family. The owners, you know, boats. A lot of it, again, just parked and sat. I'm trying to keep the tires. I'm going to get back over here. I'm trying to keep the tires, the sun off of them. I'm cleaning up the trees in the back here and the sun comes over. A lot of little neat projects. A lot of parts. You know, a lot of nice little part vehicles. Get back in here. Lots of Jeeps and trucks. Part vehicles. Parts on that, you know, like bumpers, hoods, or whatever, grills. One that definitely took a crushing. I don't think too many people can survive something like that one. My best guess is it went off a hill, got rear-ended, no, it got rear-ended, but it went off a hill, off one of the bridges and flipped and smacked down on something. Look at that. You know, get kind of a little gander. This one looks like it's pretty much intact, of course, parts. Oh, and there's the doors and everything. They're all laying around. And that looks like one back up now. Chevy. Oh, 
None of it is pristine. AMX uh, Cousins here. I got the AMXs out. But I got, you know, uh, there are other cohorts. Something, I don't know what it is. The stock car has a back. I don't think it's ever been welded up. I've been checking on this one. Can't fi figure out what it is. There's a couple of vehicles in history that kind of match it. But don't know what it was over here. That top hadn't been welded. It's actually the vehicle itself. Could be wrong until I get it completely figured out. But roll cage in it. Oh, it's back here. Stuffed away, stashed. Mm -hmm. Dents here and dings there. Back over here. And the bus. The bus full of stuff. Trans Am T top. There's a shop here in Cotton Fire. Caught the side of this with heat. So, um, a lot of parts still on it. Gotta get to that one. I'm gonna, that bus looks like it roll out. The engines in and everything's inside of it. I'm gonna turn this off for a second.